This here is Mars Cat, essentially an AI robot cat that's designed to be your companion and friend. Now, this is supposed to be a full autonomous based robot allowing to go ahead and interact with its surroundings, such as feeding, going to the charge station, even playing with toys. It really is a very unique robot. Now, the more you interact with it, the more you play with it, the more it kind of features it showcases. So it's always learning, which is really cool. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing Mars Cat as well as trying them out. So if you guys want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So this here is our packaging. And this here is our box. It says Mars Cat here on the front. As you kind of rotate it about, you just see a little diagram of the cat right here, as well as a fragile sign. I'm guessing the cat is fragile. Uh, so let's open it up and see what's inside of it. All right, so on the top here, we do have some warranty cards and user manuals. Oh, it's a pretty big cat. Let's take this guy out. Wow, look at that. Let's gonna set him over here for now. Uh, we have our tail, <laughs> a bowl, a ball. We have some scanning codes so it can go ahead and recognize different objects. Our charging base station a toy, our charger. All right, so this here's everything that we got. So we got a robotic cat. Uh, we have a tail. We have our earpieces, a little toy, a ball, and then it looks like a variety of other portions, including a bowl. I mean, you also get your charging station over here too, which is actually pretty hefty. Let's go ahead and peel off this here for a second. Uh, so looking at the robotic cat, uh, definitely has a very plasticky feel. Um, quite larger than I was expecting. Uh, there is a camera right here in the front of the nose. Uh, and then we also have a TOF sensor. Uh, and that is going to be just below the chin right over here. So you can go ahead and pet it. Looks like we also have a microphone, which is going to be also here on the bottom portion of the, the chin. Uh, we have a touch sensor, which is going to be on the back portion right here on the back. Uh, and then we also have a loudspeaker, which will be below the chest right over here. And then as you kind of rotate it about, you can actually see all the different workings here. So you have your power button, you have an HDMI output, uh, you have a USB-C port, uh, it looks like a charging plate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this up just a little bit here. So we created this little portion here, this is where the bowl will go. Uh, and then we have these little QR codes, which will be installing on certain things to go ahead and have the cat recognize it. So it does use it based on the camera. Uh, now this here is being an autonomous robot. Uh, it uses all these different keys to go and trigger different actions. Let's go ahead and build our cat. The tail on, though that was actually pretty easy. Uh, and then we also have our ears. That was that. So on the bottom of the belly over here, we have a power button, which we hold for a couple of seconds, I'm assuming. All right, I do see a blue LED on. And I think it takes about a minute for it to boot. I'm being autonomous, uh, whenever the battery level does fall below 15%, it will automatically go back to its charging station to charge. Oh, here we go. Look at it go. So you can see the eyes have, the tail moves. All right, so we have a lot of different functions going on all at once here. Uh, so you can see the head have its own servo, it's kind of moving about. Uh, it is standing on all four limbs and it's kind of wiggling its body. Uh, it does have a servo on the tail. Um, and then it has these really beautiful looking eyes uh, that are actually animated. So that's actually really cool. Oh, look at it go. Uh, it's exploring its surroundings. Let's see what it does when it gets to the edge of a table. And it's gonna fall. Yes, so let's not do that. 
All right, so our robot is now in an autonomous state, meaning it's constantly reading its surroundings to essentially uh, interact with it. So you'll see the arms move, the tails move, the head move, uh, and then of course with all the different sensors is pretty good about keeping itself upright. Now, in terms of the charging station, so it does come with this charging station right here in which you have the symbol which the robot will recognize and return to the charging station when it drops below 15%. So down here, you do have some power ports. Uh, then when you actually see some right here on the bottom of the robot right there, so it kind of attached to itself like this uh, and it'll sit down on there to charge itself. So it's actually pretty cool how it works. Now, besides that, we do get some other things to interact with. For instance, we have this little bowl, uh, as well as this symbol right here. Now, this will use the camera feature built into the robot to recognize that, and essentially, it will go ahead and eat uh, or feed off of that if necessary, just like that. So it's actually kind of cool on how you can go ahead and interact with it and play with it based off of that. Now, uh, it does come with a little toy. So this here's the little toy. Essentially, it's a rat, uh, a rat on a stick kind of thing. So the camera will recognize it and then on the eye, it'll actually see it. Now from there, it'll actually play with it <laughs> and try like attacking it if it wants to. Ah, likes this a lot. Now we can also pet it, of course, on the top here, as well as on the back, just like this. And it actually likes it. See? <laughs> so it'll go down, showcasing, wiggling its tail, saying that it does like it. Now there's also a ball. So the robot can actually see the ball and it'll interact with the ball, meaning it'll try hitting it, uh, it'll play with it. And yeah, so there we go. Let's see what it does. Okay, there you go. And, oh, <laughs> it wants to play with the ball. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app next and see what else it can do. All right, so this is your main menu. Uh, we can click on basics and this will show you the personality behind the cat. So in this case here, it shows energetic, uh, social, talkative, laziness, based on how you interact with it. So you can go ahead and change the color of the eyes. Uh, you can um, put it in mute mode. You can change the gender. You can have a wake up at certain times. Um, under panel here, it'll let you kind of see exactly what the current state of the cat is. Uh, and then how you can go ahead and adjust based off of that as it's almost like a real thing. Uh, under control, you can control it via, you know, movement forward, backward, left and right. Uh, you can have it run. Uh, you can tell it a command. All right, and under vision, you can do facial recognition, toy ball recognition, cat toy cat recognition. So kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Now overall, a really cool robot, definitely fun in terms of the AI sense goes. I really love the fact that how it just kind of acts like a real cat. So it just kind of took a nap right now. But uh, yes, it kind of gives you an idea what it's about. Definitely something really cool and something unique in terms of adding it to your collection, especially if you're a big fan of AI robots. Now with that said, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. <laughs> hey, you're waking up. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.